You gotta be kidding me. Hi everyone and welcome to today's video where we're gonna be continuing the releasables challenge. The challenge where we play every nation you fourth that does not exist in 1444. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with a very cool start as the nation of Chernigov. Now, Chernigov is a nation that can be released from Lithuania somewhere in these parts, I think. I can't remember exactly where it is. You rarely see these guys. And I don't even know how many provinces we're gonna pop out with. Is it one? Is it two? Is it three? Is it 27? Probably not. But of course, we are gonna be getting released from Lithuania right here, which as you all know, is always annoying because 90% of the time, Lithuania becomes a Jew junior partner under Poland, which means we're going to have to fight Poland as well. These two guys, they are pretty strong, Poland and Lithuania, even though, you know, you can break free, it is a little more difficult than, uh, what do you call it, normal releasable starts. And even if Lithuania doesn't get PU'd by Poland, they ally Poland or they get other strong allies. So, you know, even if the PU happens or it doesn't, it's still the same super, super annoying start. After we break free, you know, the expansion is pretty limited right here. We're either going to have to fight Poland, Lithuania or Muscovy right here, which I'm actually planning to get to support my independence. And, uh, you know, these are very low def provinces. We're going to have to blob out a lot. Limited expansion opportunities. I never look forward to Lithuanian releasables. Probably one of the hardest ones in the game. But you got to do what you got to do. So let's jump in as Lithuania and then as Chernigov. All right, right here we are as Lithuania. Let's right click on ourselves. Go down here and there is Chernigov. Actually, seven provinces, man. Uh, the largest Lithuanian releasable, apparently. Well, you know, that's always nice to see. Okay, so we did pop out down here. I thought it was more up here. I guess that's Polotsk or Smolensk or someone up here. Uh, yeah, Smolensk, uh, whatever. But yeah, Chernigov, man. We even got one fort right here. This is our capital. Uh, provinces, two. Uh, yeah, two iron producing provinces. That's pretty nice. No centers of trade. They're pretty flat, cheap to develop later on, I guess. This is because we're a vassal, it's more expensive. But uh, yeah, I think this, uh, you know, is going to be a pretty straightforward but a difficult run. Let's go ahead and choose the uh, Russian Principality Government Reform. It is the best out of these right here, and it is semi-unique. Uh, so there we go. That's what we are. And unique missions. Yeah, sort of the semi-unique Russian Principality missions right here. And uh, Chernihiv ideas, plus 10% morale of armies, and minus 10% regiment cost. That's pretty good. Minus 15% state maintenance. I like that. Govcap plus 10%. Very cool and uh, not an idea you see too often. Cap combat plus 15%, plus 20% national manpower, plus 15% for defense, minus two nationalized, plus two tolerance of the true faith, and plus 10% goods produced. Dude, these are really good national ideas, man. Excellent. Wow. I really wish we could play the entire campaign so we can unlock all of them, but uh, yeah, let's uh, let's wait for December and uh, do the estate setup. Okay, so there we go. It's December. Now we are Orthodox. That is, of course, going to help us get Muscovy to support our independence, but uh, pretty soon right here, Lithuania is going to force us to be Catholic. Obviously, we'll flip back to Orthodox very easily, but we will lose quite a lot of prestige. Let's waste this mission as always. Uh, there's some on the diet. Let's do... Wait, uh, what is our capital? Hm, none of these is our uh, capital. It wants me to dev. All of them are devving. All right, let's do this one because it's uh, probably going to be the cheapest. Let's give these guys religious state, religious uh, uh, clerical education, religious diplomats. There it is. Boyars, primacy and increase and the burgers land patronage and uh, indebted that's it for now sell seize you know what it is of course limit is seven that's actually pretty good so let's start building up let me turn off my fort right here let's lower army maintenance let's uh yeah we got merchants right here i'm gonna put one in uh, novgorod can we reach it yes we can one in novgorod and one in hmm, ostracon maybe we can get the great horde it's good that for now muscovy doesn't desire any of our land so yeah we can probably get these guys dude i remember last time we played these guys we did get the ottomans to help right <laughs> we can probably get them again it's so close oh uh, we are making money 422 guy we'll take him i am gonna hire a morale guy and then fire him and look for a diplo rep guy when it's time to get guys to support us which we do have excellent poland got moldavia expected ah oh, would you look at that I, I, I'm gonna be honest, I had a hunch that they were gonna go with the local noble. Doesn't really matter though, they're still allied. And actually it does matter, because this means uh, the rivals and stuff don't change. So the same guys that are already close to supporting us are still the same guys, they won't change. For example, they would change if we, uh, you know, if Lithuania fell under Poland. And look, Muscovy is already willing to support us as well. Once we max out relations, I'm going to improve with Denmark a bit too. Maybe we can get them too. Ottomans are not here because they're in a war, but they'll support us too. 
it's gonna be easy okay truce with lithuania is up the ottomans would support us as you can see as soon as they end this war with ramazan i'm gonna ask them there's a muscovy and we can get a denmark really soon too so we're gonna have muscovy in their boys the ottomans denmark in their boys probably one of the strongest supports we've had in a while uh what was i about to say here yeah i actually hope that uh these guys might let us go for free man uh that way you know we can just wait for the truce and fight them maybe fight crimea in the meantime and uh my allies most notably the ottomans and muscovy won't break their alliance with me if i don't give them any land so yeah let's wait for the ottomans and denmark there's the ottoman and denmark okay i'm just gonna wait for the ottomans to wrap this up and we'll declare okay Ottomans are done. There's the Declaration of Independence. Just Poland, Lithuania's ally, which, uh, yeah, it's pretty much the same, man, whether they get PU'd or not. But uh, we're absolutely going to crush these guys. They're no joke. Their army is pretty big, but come on, man. <laughs> War's going pretty good, about what you would expect. It's time for a tier 2 government reform. We can separate the boyars from the court. Government power tax. Nah, this one's lame. We're still doing good, but that's beside the point because look what I want to point out right here. This is Moldavia's army, right? Look at their general. He's not just a three star. By the way, the stars don't mean anything. He's a five, five, two, six party warrior. A six siege general. Freaking 10 years after the game started, man. Six siege. 1445. 1455, sorry. Stabbing up is actually really cheap here. <laughs> All right, we're done. Amazing independence war. Uh, we literally 100% of these guys, no troops left whatsoever. And I didn't actually separate peace Poland because I'm hoping to give something to the Ottomans here, stuff that I'm not interested in, specifically in uh, Wallachia. All right, let me try and figure out the peace deal. Okay, and this is the peace deal. Apparently, the Ottomans are happy with only two provinces right here. And in fact, I'm giving them more than they inspect. Muscovy will, uh, of course, hate me, but I, I don't care. It's more likely that we'll expand in Muscovy rather than in the Ottomans. So out of these three allies right here, I'm only probably going to keep the Ottomans since Sweden's independence is being supported. But uh, yeah, this is what I'm giving to the Ottomans. This is what I'm taking for myself. Let me just check that it is occupied by me. Yes, it is. And I'm also going to get War Epsilon at the Wendy. It doesn't really matter too much since they're pretty poor, but uh, it is what of this that's the independence war uh done very nice i'm very satisfied with that okay uh moldavia and mazovia have allied each other which means they might break free so i'm gonna spy on them too we can fight crimea as well they're not too powerful uh they're only allied to kazan so uh yeah things are looking good let me just get some more claims from this uh remaining spy network that we uh we have on lithuania nice okay but now we can definitely develop our capital since we ha uh we do have tech four in every category and we do have lots of points uh let's activate and encourage dev right there oh it is a uh, very low dev right there man i wish i could make it even cheaper but i guess i can't i don't have the dev cost icon do i unless i can consecrate metropolitan i don't own all of those what about right here i could do it here no it's not full core whatever let's just dev and there we go, full spawned, one shot, even uh, expanded infrastructure, perfect. Uh, we should be making money now, yeah, it's okay, and we can easily embrace that. Uh, can we get new burger loans? Yes, we can, there's indebted. Uh, we got the Cossacks now too, which is perfect, let's give them, uh, hmm, what do we give them? Uh, where was it? Yeah, recruit Cossack leaders is what we want to give them, along with uh, prime herding rights, that's right. Now we can give the Patriarchs clerical, the Boyars Aristo, and the Burgers uh, commercial. Nice. And there's, a, uh, what do you call it? The Renaissance Embraced. We can even sell it to someone, I presume. Let's go ahead and hire advisors uh, as well. Moldavia and Mazovia actually have declared independence on Poland. They're definitely going to win. They're being supported by Bohemia and their boys, the Teutons, the Livonians, Poland's super weak. Yeah. Oh, actually, the t this uh, Teutons thing is a separate war. Lithuania, meanwhile, is fighting these guys. Muscovy is not doing anything. Yeah, very chaotic for now. <laughs> and air is pretty bad as well, yo. Funnily enough, Muscovy didn't break their alliance with me. Look at this. The trust sucks. Why? Yeah, they don't really hate me, man. They don't, they don't want my land, that's the thing. Shoot, might as well trade favors for trust and keep them around, man. So, the Great Horde and Crimea fought Lithuania. Oh, actually, Crimea is still fighting them, but for no reason. They can't, they can't take anything. Great Horde took this one province. Oh, no, dude, I was wrong. Um, uh, Mazovia and Moldavia didn't break free from Poland. Or, or they did the independence war, but they're not free. 
they're still subject. Very chill game, man. I'm in a very good mood. Let's hope this isn't my uh, famous last words. Obviously, right now, I could fight a bunch of wars. I could declare on Crimea. The Ottomans would... Well, actually, they were just about to help before they declared... Isn't that early? Oh, it says in Kaifa. Oh, they're helping out AQ. Okay, I could fight the Great Horde, too. Maybe Muscovy would help here. They wouldn't. But yeah, I did have a, quite a few possible wars. But, real, but uh, in reality, I'm just chilling, uh, waiting to tech up. I don't want to be that behind, you know, because we dabbed the Renaissance and all. Ah. This is a completely other guy. I didn't have this dynasty. This is a Muscovy guy, right? I mean, 3-2-3 three, three is better than 1-2-1. One, one. Either way, stabbed up, took admin 5. It's time for our first idea group. Obviously, we gotta get something mill-related that's gonna mesh very well with the ideas we already have. So, regiment discount, morale. We got a bunch of cav and manpower and defense stuff. I'm thinking defensive for the defensiveness and the morale already there. You know, we're gonna sort of boost that by taking defensive. But I'm also feeling Aristo Man here for even more combat ability, right? That's plus 15% from there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we got calf combat, we got the manpower, even more manpower and even more calf combat and a dev discount. Aristo it is, baby. Aristo it is. Let's focus up. So Muscovy were claiming my throne and they were threatening to break their alliance with me until I got an heir, which is pretty lucky to say the least. Meanwhile, Moldavia did become independent along with Mazovia, but it's being guaranteed by both Poland and Lithuania. Boys, listen, August the 2nd, and uh, I'm not even going to say that, the 1st. This is how you end up fighting the Ottomans. Why would they guarantee Moldavia? Who are you protecting them from? Me and the Ottomans are the only ones that can fight them. Okay, you really think we can't beat you again? Look what we did to your countries, man. Oh, I guess that rant was for nothing because... Oh, oh both of them. Wait, Mazovia went bankrupt too? That was just knowledge sharing with them. In fact, I still am. Look. Oh, I wish I didn't have a truce, man. We would just uh, melt Lithuania. Uh, Moldavia, sorry. Right, why the frick did I put my merchants in Novgorod and Ostrakhan when I didn't even tell them to establish communities? This has been a complete waste. Let's transfer from Crimea and collect in Kiev. All right, so while I'm waiting for my truces with Poland, Lithuania, and Moldavia to expire, I can't really fight Crimea and the Great Horde because no one would help me versus them. But even though Muscovy is allied to Udoyev and Lithuania guarantees them, those boys wouldn't help out. And Denmark would help me, which of course is going to make it easy to take down Novgorod. So here's an absolutely massive and unnecessary war in order to get a 10 development province. And this might trigger Muscovy into declaring on Novgorod, which they're very hesitant on doing this campaign for some reason. And too bad I can't actually take stuff from Novgorod this campaign. It would be so nice. Well, Galicia Volhynia popped out for some reason. All right, shout out Denmark, but we're done. Novgorod was a lot more powerful than I thought, and uh, they're triggering my civil war disaster and these Kievan separatists, so I got a piece out of here. There's a Doya, man. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. <laughs> oh, Muscovy declared on the Great Horde, and now they're allyless. I gotta try and take advantage of this, even if it's just for one province. Uh, your three gov reform time? What do we go with? Sure. I actually didn't notice Kiev popping out either. <laughs> Did they pop out of me? No, they didn't. So yeah, Nogai just took all of this. Muscovy just took all of this. I can't do anything with that. So uh, just as these peasants pop out, that's why we're done. For only a five development province. At least it makes iron, I guess. Okay, peasants have been dealt with. Let's declare on Galicia, Volhynia, Kobolizrand, Kiev. Uh, there's four provinces for us, man. Awesome. I don't get it, man. Why is it Muscovy fighting Novgorod? They're not strong. They don't have any allies. They're going to expand themselves pretty quick, too. And even Denmark hasn't declared on them. So, pretty weird. Started uh, working on uh, buildings as well. All right, it's about time. 30 years into the game. And I'm done with my own war here. There's four additional provinces for us. So, pretty chill expansion for now, man. Uh, Dev is 138. Wow, that is so little. That is actually so little, dude. Yeah, I did not need to get depressed right now, but we could take down Poland. Lithuania too, I guess. Yeah, easy. Yeah, it's not like we don't have anywhere to expand, but we're pretty much going to have to get all of this. Biz is still alive. Oh. oh, super rare that you actually see them in this province too. Let's go with this. Okay, Novgorod is done with Lithuania. Uh, let's expand. And we've defeated Lithuania. Well, I'm going to try and take as much as I can from them, honestly, while at the same time blocking off Muscovy. It's not a lot of aggressive expansion at all, is it? Okay, let's take everything we can then. Very nice. And I'm probably going to trigger this civil war, man. 
so Denmark just broke their alliance with me. Uh, that's beside the point. What I noticed that is that the country we're playing, man, it sort of has two different names, right? It's Chernigov right here, but uh, on the pop-up right there, due to, you know, when it said why Denmark wants to break the alliance with me, it's a Chernihiv. So, interesting. Yeah, like this right here. Pretty strong Austria. Uh, the Palatinate got Burgundy, by the way. Second idea group time. I really don't know what we could go with here. Sure, Orthodox is a great pick, but I don't know how much we're going to expand here and here. So we could get away without a religious or humanist here, you know, managing the different religions. I'm sort of leaning towards admin. I don't know why. Maybe for the CCR, for the promote culture cost as well. Uh, all the other bonuses that we already have. The gov cap too. So I don't know, man. Or do we go with something money making like economic or trade? Trade, we won't really take advantage of. Economic, the policy with Aristo is tax and cap discount. Whereas admin is it's legitimacy and reform progress growth i don't know economic i don't know yeah economic okay so poland's fighting the teutons again which means they finally won't help moldavia muscovy wasn't willing to help them either way so what did mazovia join the hr yeah yeah i guess that's beside the point so weird look <laughs> goatlands in the hre riga's in it provence down here lithuania the teutons mazovia opoli as an independent nation what weird hre man Maybe that's why we have a strong Austria. Past two reforms too, they're about to pass the third one. Okay, first Mazovia to be Orthodox. We do a little trolling on uh, Austria right here, but uh, there's Moldavia full annexed. Uh, very nice. Poland also got blown up by the Teutons here, which means we can fight them. They're only allied to Goatland, but I'm not planning on taking everything either way. I just want like these provinces. I actually can't get everything. And maybe we can force them into the HRE as well. So I'm actually immediately gonna declare on Poland here. Or, well, the Ottomans will call me into this, but it uh, doesn't matter too much. We'll uh, still declare. Oh, no, I did trigger the Civil War. Frick. Um, what do we need to do to stop it? Legitimacy 90, spawn rebels, not pretender. We can't accept, right? Yeah, I am going to have to beat these guys up. <laughs> Ooh, the Ottomans are coming to help out. Nice. Actually, there's lots of events that give us legitimacy, but they just cost so much other things. So, yeah. Jesus, by the way, this Poland war was super annoying, man. That's all I want, though. I'll strengthen government, too, unfortunately, to speed things up a bit. Okay, we ended it. Unfortunately, I did have to lose a lot of points for that. And prestige. Oh, very nice. Uh, tier 4 government form, let's go with this. Can we convert anything? We actually don't have anything to convert, though. Oh, a mission. Right, I always forget these, man. They're not really that relevant, are they? Yeah, they're not. Biggest problem with this area, man, is that the economy is just so trash. This These uh, provinces are, like, really, really poor. I'm I'm trying to build some buildings here, but everything just absolutely sucks. A truce with Lithuania is up, so let's go ahead and declare on them. They don't have... No. You gotta be kidding me. I forgot. I forgot. They're in the HRE. Oh, my God. This is impossible now. We actually have to hope that the Teutons fight them, which they might. I literally have nowhere to go. I don't. Look, this is the HRE, right? The only nation I could realistically fight is like Livonia. Crimea, I guess I could, you know, overextend a bit and fight Crimea. It's just these... Ah, wait, Kazan is weak and AQ is down here. I could definitely fight Crimea. Let's build up a little more. Meanwhile, this is the dev right now. I still need to grow quite a lot. I'll probably need like 500 by the time, you know, we get to there. All right, let's go ahead and hit Crimea. Well, wait, Muscovy is going to come in too. Easy. Or do I need them? Yeah, why not? Poland became an Orthodox principality located in uh, in uh, Wallachia. Oh, okay, we're done here. And as you can see, I haven't occupied everything. Uh, but I think if I full annex them, basically take all of the provinces and give this to uh, Muscovy, Circassia, which is their vassal, should be transferred to me. So that's a couple of more provinces over to uh, to me. So there we go. And I did get Circassia and Theodoro. Wait, uh, a tributary. I don't want that now. So a couple of years have passed. We're really getting stuck here, boys. Can't go this way or this way. Those are allies. Can't go this way. That's the HRE. The only nation we could realistically fight is this OPM Poland right here and the Livonian Order probably, even though the Teutons are looking pretty strong. Then I could also make Muscovy end their alliance with like Theodora or Imerati to fight them. Meanwhile, Muscovy vassalized these guys. So I don't know how we're going to do it, man. Muscovy and the Ottomans don't want to help out versus um, they're in way too much debt. We actually can't wipe out Lithuania. I don't believe it. And they don't have any allies. So I can't fight their non-HRE ally or whatever. I don't know. Let's just continue by fighting Poland, I guess. After doing nothing for five years, we can finally peace out Poland. 
Didn't I say something about Lithuania joining the HRE earlier? I feel like I didn't consider this. Right, let's dev colonialism. Imagine we wiped out Lithuania, man. We'd be done now. Dude, I do not have nearly enough cavalry for this combat ability. <laughs> let's give the boyars the uh, integration policy and annex Circassia. I'm also going to make Muscovy end their alliance with Theodoro and uh, fight them. Yeah, let's declare. That's done. Oh, finally, an actual one of these missions after I built up a fort. Crimea has been annexed. And by the way, I'm just helping Muscovy in something. Uh, not Crimea, sorry, Circassia. Now, as you can see, I'm preparing sort of over here this uh, defensive line, if anticipating a war with Austria and allies eventually for Lithuania, man. But in the meantime, I think we can fight uh, the Livonians. So, yeah, let's spy on them. Dude, dude, the Ottomans are finally willing to come in, man. It's gotta be now or never. I was actually preparing to take all of these guys on by myself. Just <laughs> let them attrition and fight them here. Get tired, white piece them, then go for Lithuania. But if we don't do this now, we'll never do it. I'm a multic over a lot of these guys, so it shouldn't be that bad. Ooh, more calf stuff. But that's just ratio, right? We don't need more calf to infantry ratio. Infantry cost, we also force limit. No, I don't need that. What's gonna help us out the most, man? Oh, defensive stance for sure. Yeah, I got a pretty strong army, man. Definitely got lots of dubs so far. We're still on here. No one's below us, though, but we will jump over Britain after we annex Lithuania. Oh, look, this is good. Well, in a moment of weakness in the HRE, Freen has decided to declare on Holland. Very nice. All right, they're slowly starting to get on low. We can slowly start uh, piecing them out, or white piecing them, at least. That's it, man. Austria's out. We even have 61% war score versus them. I never checked that out. I was always uh, checking the war enthusiasm, but uh, yeah, uh, we're done. There we go. That's Lithuania full annexed and officially our formal, uh, former overlord no longer exists. Please let me be above Great Britain and we are not. Oh, we are. There we go. A month ticked over. Let's check and see. And yes, yes, yes. By one death point, man. Dude, the last couple of episodes of releasables, it's always like this, man. Super, super tight. We accomplish both goals on the same day. You know, final day tick, final month tick, or first month tick, or whatever you want to call it. But uh, And it's always like super, super tight. As far as just coincidence, but uh, it's kind of weird, isn't it? But uh, with that, uh, man, both of our goals are accomplished in this very, I don't know how to put it, tough campaign that's all i'm gonna say this is very tough a very difficult campaign yeah but yeah there you go man sure off as chernigov and these couple of provinces down here seven provinces obviously the largest lithuanian releasable which i didn't know and uh independence was super easy man got muscovy and the ottomans and denmark to support my independence fought poland and lithuania even though they weren't uh you know the same country or whatever and uh broke free pretty easily kept a hold of both the ottomans and muscovy even though i did not give muscovy anything and uh yeah slow and steady expansion in this region fought lithuania a couple of times moldavia over here poland independently a a bunch of nations that popped out like Galicia and Kiev fought Crimea, got their vassal as well, and uh, luckily did manage to keep a hold of uh, my two most important allies the entirety of the campaign, even though they didn't really help out with anything, man. Uh, aside from the independence war, this is the first time I think we've actually gotten an ally's help in a war, or actually no, I called in Moscow versus Crimea, but you know, I thought I would, you know, uh, get help from these guys fighting Poland, Lithuania all the time, maybe fighting some other guys right here, but no, man, they were just uh, badly in debt the entirety of the campaign. Yeah, look at that. They're still in debt. So, uh, yeah, tough expansion. Lithuania ended up joining the HRU, which means we had to fight Austria and their subjects, which is like uh, Hungary, Luxembourg, and Bohemia of all nations, and a bunch of allies as well. Uh, luckily, we didn't have to fight these Teutons, which were also in the HRU or something. Imagine if Lithuania ended up here. What were we going to do then? But, uh, yeah, overall, always a tough region to play in. These uh, provinces right here in Lithuania are super poor. That's why even though Lithuania is like a great power at the start, it's actually one of the poorest nations, making about half a ducat or something like that. But uh, our economy is okay. You know, we never really relied too much on anything. Really nice cab combat, by the way, and lots of cavalry. But uh, I did try and build up as many buildings as I could. Obviously, I didn't build all of the relevant ones. I tried to build most of them. But uh, yeah, even got a little navy going right here. Spawned the Renaissance in our capital spawn colonialism right here embraced it obviously uh you know what it is a little bit behind in tech and i did manage to get aristo and economic on lock but yeah man chernigov uh probably the most underrated uh releasable over here in this region really good national ideas 
awesome little mission to right here for the Russian principalities. You can go on to form Russia, actually, because you're Ryazanian primary culture. Yeah, yeah, but if you flip through Ruthenian, obviously, that can be Ruthenia. You can even restore Byzantium, obviously, as any Orthodox nation. So, super fun, man. I always recommend these guys, uh, any nation over here in this region, even though they're pretty tough, but I do think these guys' as ideas uh, take it away, for sure. But, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm happy to say that this campaign as Chernigov in releasables has been a success and that has been Chernigov in releasables now let's spin the wheel and see which nation we're gonna play next time okay okay here we are in the wheel of wait that didn't sound right it didn't all right all right here we are in the wheel of pain let's click the spin and see which nation is gonna bring me pain and suffering next week please let it be someone easy is it is there anyone easy even left what what the frick is this all right Oh, here we are. Oh. So, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what I should do as Perak to break free from Malacca, make them not exist, and become a great power. I swear I've never heard of this nation. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you like the content and want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.